Ken Sharp has been appointed Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer at Periton, a role in which he will oversee the company's financial activities. The Department of Defense's innovation arm has selected five companies to build prototypes of commercial lithium batteries to address power requirements in fighter jets and helicopters. Ashita Yamin, a 25-year GovCon industry veteran, has been appointed Senior Vice President of Business Development at Simple Technology Solutions, a provider of enterprise cloud and data platforms for federal government clients. Advanced Technology International has been awarded an other transaction agreement by the Naval Surface Warfare Center Crane Division to manage the Expeditionary Missions Consortium, Crane. The Forward Defense Program in the Atlantic Council's Scowcroft Center for Strategy and Security has established a new commission tasked with developing recommendations on improving the U.S. military's production and integration of advanced software technologies. The State Department has approved the Israeli government's request to purchase nearly 14,000 tank shells and related equipment from the U.S. government under a potential 106.5 million foreign military sales agreement. Retired U.S. Air Force Major General and former U.S. Space Force Chief Technology Innovation Officer Kim Kreider has been appointed to the Board of Advisors of satellite design and manufacturing company Proteus Space. Northrop Grumman completed a full-scale static test fire of a new solid rocket motor that was produced with materials and processes that shorten lead times by 75%, as part of the Solid Motor Annual Rocket Technology Demonstrator Program. Join Potomac Officers Club's The CX Imperative Forum on January 25, 2024. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The Air Force Research Laboratory is planning a research and development effort focused on techniques and processes that lead to the creation of biomaterials, bioprocesses and related technologies, and has issued a request for information for the effort. Kerasoft Technology will serve as a master government aggregator for RunZero to offer the company's cyber asset attack surface management platform to the public sector.